And that's why I nominated Don Wadowitz for the AFA Hall of Fame because he made people care and he made people come and he was our announcer and award-winning Don Wadowitz. Statistics play an important role in a broadcast. I use it to help weave a story during the game. But statistics don't always tell the entire story. Take me, for instance. My mother was very young when she had me. My parents divorced after just maybe two years. I grew up in a drug house. I was sexually abused by a babysitter before the age of 10. One of my parents spent time in prison, and at one point in time in my teenage years, I had a knife to my wrist before, thankfully, being interrupted. Statistics would tell you that me being here with you tonight, receiving this awesome honor, probably wasn't very likely. Statistics would tell you that I probably belong behind bars, or even worse. But statistics don't tell the entire story. People tell the story. People like my grandparents, who encouraged me to read the newspaper aloud to them every night. People like an elementary school teacher who noticed my gift for Gab and said, hey, why don't you do school announcements? Why don't you MC school events? A football head coach and team owner and his wife, Jordan and Valerie Kopak, who entrusted in me the communications aspect of their business. And then a woman who looked at a guy wearing four different shades of green, which he called color coordinating, <laughs> and looked beyond that and saw something special. My wife, Michelle, who's been my biggest supporter, my biggest cheerleader for two decades now. It's It's mentors, it's people who drive us, who challenge us, and we have that in my industry as well. It's not just something that happens on the field. 66 years of Racine Raiders football. We've had three broadcasters in that amount of time. AFA Hall of Famer Gary Sewer, AFA Hall of Famer Joe Mooney. I'm proud to continue that tradition up in our press box. Also want to thank those that have driven me. People like Mike Hearn, Dan Pfeiffer, Paul Junio, and Mike Mankey, who continually push me to be the best broadcaster and best person that I can be. We all came to semi-pro football for two reasons. Love of the game and opportunity. My opportunity was the opportunity to give back to the community of Racine, Wisconsin that gave me so much and the ability to do that through sports and through football was a bonus. Some of you may have come to it with an opportunity to move up, try to get to the pro circuit, to expand your coaching resume. Some of you may have come to it to right a wrong for a second chance, another opportunity. That's why we came to semi-pro football. And that's why people like Ron Reel, who started this organization for us, and Dave Birch, who's carried the torch since, are so important. That's why those of you alumni that are here with us today, who have blazed that trail for us that are coming after you, are so important. Congratulations to the rest of the nominees that are part of the 2019 class of the AFA Hall of Fame. To finish, I'm gonna give you what I give everybody that listens to any broadcast that I do. And this started just a few years ago for me because I was never a guy that was big on, oh, we need, I need to have a signature slogan. But as I was setting up for a broadcast that I was going to do, I found out that a friend who had been battling cancer succumbed to that cancer. 
And at the end of the broadcast, in a moment of clarity, something just came to me, and I thought it summed up how I, fe how I feel she viewed life. And so I leave you with, I'm Don Wadowitz, reminding you to live life to the fullest and to be good to one another. Thank you, everyone.